So, institutions. If you have a very big public institution that has to look after something presumably such as the health of the nation, these institutions now are very, 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 very big. As they got bigger, it became a little more, let's say, disconnected from some of the realities of science and started drifting off to more the realities of what the very large institutions that were paying them wanted. So we've seen that recently with this company Monsanto that after many, many years of abusing this planet has finally been caught in, and it's been proven that their weed killer uh, has been really hurting people. But that took way too long. Now, the thing about that is it's bad for people. We, we die off. But they weren't technically doing anything technically wrong until they were busted for quite a long time. How do you stop that? Well, decentralization has another part to it. As things spread out, you can also break things down into smaller parts and spread them out. So imagine you have 10 institutions now and 10 institutions that are relatively independent. And again, that depends on the technology. Now we've got the ability to watch where money goes, to observe money and to track money. So we can start to see more how they're operating and what they're doing with their money. And we can increase the transparency within those organizations. Somebody once said, sunlight is the best disinfectant. Being able to see what's going on allows us as people to make our decisions as to whether we like it or not. And this is all about bringing power to the people. And if you want to bring power to the people, you have to bring them information. And that's what transparency is. Because realistically, if a very large corporation says it's being okay, you shouldn't really trust it anymore. You shouldn't take their word for anything. I think we know that now. I think we've had enough time to know that we just can't trust people at their word. Again, we can have a small group of 150 people and know who everyone is, but the second it gets bigger, you don't really know anyone. And we have to learn that as a species. That's part of what this is all about. We're going to be hammering that in hard for the next 10 years. So, big institution, eh, then you get lots of little ones. Lots of little ones have this amazingly interesting property is that they all sort of compete with each other. So if one of them goes a bit off, the prestige of the others is dependent on them calling that one out. So they're like, uh, mate, no. And you can sort of trust experts, right? You just can't trust all the experts in one place being paid by one set of people. But you really can trust experts when they're all broken up into groups that work very well maybe in groups of about 150, maybe in teams of 150 that form one group. But those groups separated from each other form their own form of self-checking and self-correction. And those are the sort of systems of the future. That's actually how the future is.